Hello and welcome to the NNL Pro Tournament. The path to pro begins here. I'm Alex Cunningham alongside William Marchese for this first round matchup between two of the top four from the 2020 World Championship in Maddie Howard and Allie Graff. That's right. When you have two of the top four women competing, uh, you know that you are going to get some high tier competition. I cannot wait to see what they have for us. Well, here's what we have in store for this competition, in case you're just joining us for the first time at the NNL Pro Tournament. Each athlete recorded a two-minute grip gauntlet, and it will be up to you to determine who had the better grip gauntlet based on creativity, variety of obstacles, difficulty, and wow factor. That's right. And remember, everyone, this is not a popularity contest. You are the judge and jury for who you think put on the better grip gauntlet. So make sure you watch carefully and then click the link in the description down below in order to vote in our poll to determine who will move on to the semifinals. And it'll be one of these two athletes. Let's meet Maddie and Allie. Her performance at Worlds didn't surprise those who knew her, but Allie Griff became one of the breakout stars of the World Championship as she went from filling the first obstacle in Hartford to finishing in the top four in Greensboro. But she's consistent, too. In all ten of her competitions dating back to season four, she's finished on the podium each time. In the civilian world, Allie uses her ninja strength as a firefighter in the Detroit area. If you watch the World Championship at Tenley, you'll know Maddie Howard's name as she was the leader in the clubhouse from the beginning of the day until the very last wave. She finished second, but equally impressively, she finished second in the strongest ninja competition, notching three top tens in skills events. This capped off an excellent regular season for her, as she won both competitions she participated in. And before we talk about these two athletes, we at the NNL want to congratulate Maddie and her husband as they are expecting their first child. I do want to let everybody know that Maddie recorded her gauntlets well in advance. She did record three of them in case she advances in the tournament. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. And again, our congratulations to Maddie on growing her family. But in the meantime, we have two very strong ladies with two very strong uh, occupations. We have a firefighter and a nurse. Very nice. In these trying times, we appreciate the work of both of these women and both their strength on and off the course. And now we're going to see their strength on the course as we'll start with the lower seed, Allie Graff. This is going to suck, so yeah. Yes, Allie's we are training rolling. at a gym. Our technical director, Philip Scott, knows very well. Grips in the Detroit area. Well, she just told the camera woman this is going to suck, so I hope she's wrong about that. I certainly hope she's wrong as well. And this ring is attached to a rope, I see. So she's attaching it to the doorknobs. Presumably she's going to use this in a little bit. I should hope so. Looks like a bit of an interesting start for Allie. Let's see what she does with this ring. Looking good so far. I do agree with the camera woman. It is looking good so far. Yeah, I'm assuming she's going to stop at the green marks, but I could be wrong. Let's see what happens. You got oh, it. Slight slip there. In the world. It's going to nice. Yes. Let's see. Is she going to traverse on that rope? And yeah, that's... That is exactly what she's going to do. And this sags every bit of the way, so she's essentially climbing it. upward. Yeah, that really that's really tough. That's tricky to move across the right. rope like that. About where one minute. It dips every single time. And now moving on to some cannonballs and very nice lock offs there. I am very impressed with those lock offs. Oh, she's got to thread the needle every single time with those hooks. Accuracy, very important here. Usually you want to kind of build up a swing to get it there so you don't have to reach for it, but because it's so close nice. to the ground, she really can't build up a swing, which honestly makes it all the more impressive. She's, it, it's odd because it's like she's getting just enough momentum in order to turn naturally 180 degrees every okay. time. Come on. Got to get that one behind her out. Oh, a little stuck. And then spinning around. I love Couple it. more. Yeah, a bit backwards. Let's see. Uh, running out of time, though. 
Oh, no. Oh, and just couldn't hang on. Nice and as we take it back into the commentary booth, two of the variables in this tournament are variety and difficulty. I felt like there was a lot of difficulty, but not a lot of variety. Well, I mean, essentially, it was three obstacles, and the first two were connected to each other. So it it it's hard to argue the variety uh, aspect of it. It's going to be interesting to see if the audience felt like she had the difficulty in order to beat her opponent, but I, you know, I'm not quite sure about this one, but I, overall it was very strong performance. It just, it was very contained. So we're going to have to see how that plays out. And I don't want to understate the difficulty of those one arm lockoffs. I mean, I don't think I could do that for more than a second. And she did that through an entire really long line of cannonball hooks. Oh, absolutely. I, I don't want to make it sound like I'm downplaying it either. It was very impressive from a technical aspect. But like you said, there's four categories this is being judged on. So it's going to be a, a little bit of an uphill battle, I feel, for her. Well, let's see what Maddie Howard has in store. Here's her grip gauntlet. Go. And from grips to, I believe this is grip out in Utah. Starting start. off with an Iron Maiden style obstacle. She did have a miss there, but she corrected it. It was a slight miss. And this up section is going to be real tricky. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Nice and correction. She's just going for the bars. All I'm right. going to blame her. It's early in the gauntlet. You don't want to go too hard right off the bat. But this is pretty tough. It's there a pretty big go. That's a Yeah, that was a steep incline. And it looks like we're going fishing with the salmon ladder. Makes her way down one rung, and looks like she's transfer going to... Him. Yeah, she is indeed going for a transfer. Makes it. Nice work. Yeah. Go back up. Now headed for that pipe bomb. Onto the cliffhanger. That's what I was looking for. And it looks like we got ring toss coming up next. Indeed we do. That is a long ring toss. I don't know if she's going to go the whole way. Uh, I'm going to guess she will, but that's, that could be wrong. What I like here is that she's doing it fast. Certainly, you want to get to as many different obstacles as you can in two minutes. Yeah, this is very fashion efficient. On to the cannonballs now. And let's see, she's moving ah, to a, a ring. And speaking of rings. From a big ring to regular size rings. 130. 30 seconds to go. Looks like she's got some uh, monkey bars that swing. Are, yeah, some side-to-side -side monkey bars. Those are tricky. And she's got a claw waiting at the end. Possibly a slider. Indeed. That's what's coming. Let's see. Is this a big finish? Maybe. Gearing up for the dismount. Oh, she should have gone on that one. <laughs> she's just going to do a pull-up for posterity. Thanks. Why not? Go. Good go. work by Maddie Howard. And Will, we wanted variety out of Alex Gauntlet. That had a lot of variety. Absolutely. Maddie definitely had a mix of, of different style grips. She, there were obstacles where she was holding onto objects, climbing up objects. Uh, she had a salmon ladder in there. It was a good variety and some good speed in there, too. And I certainly like that both athletes used all of their two minutes. We give you two minutes. You might as well use it to try and impress the audience absolutely and i know two people who certainly will have a lot to say about these two runs That's right a Alex? great transition over to lucio batista and henry ferrar and gentlemen right all right henry lucio i know from the off-camera segment that you have a lot to say about ali's run let's start with henry what did you think about ali's performance all right, I'm going to start with the positive, and um, wow, Allie, your lock-off is amazing. That's super impressive. Um, besides that, your video is pretty lackluster. I mean, you got through three obstacles in two minutes. Um, again, obviously, they were, they were, the difficulty level was, was there, definitely, um, bringing that rope along with you, and then the drop-downs. Um, I wish you were able to finish that that cannonball lock off obstacle. Th then you would have definitely got my vote. But besides that, uh, not super impressed. Again, the lock off was amazing. Besides that, a little bit lackluster. 
Lucio, do you think that Allie's difficulty in terms of what she had to do will overcome the lack of variety in her course? Well, well, unfortunately, I don't think so in this regard. Um, I, I have to agree with Henry. The lock off there was super impressive, um, being able to hold the lock off fully like that for that long. However, just the sheer lack of variety, um, hard to overlook when, you know, we want to see as much differentiation and grip used the entire way. And most of what I saw was static grip, um, impressive lock off, but not too much variety. That's that's unfortunate. Uh, moving on to Maddie Howard, uh, what do you think she could have done at the end there when it looked like she got a little bit hung up on that cane slider? And what do you think of her run overall? So honestly, it looked like she was going to go to that like UFO static um, shelf grab. I, I that's what it kind of seemed like. It looked like it was in range. Um, had she done that, that would have been an excellent finale. Just a nice dynamic move. It's pretty difficult. Change of directions off of a slider. Um, so that's what I think maybe could happen there. Um, otherwise, I thought that the run was great. Um, started off with some good, solid movements with you know difficulty with the Iron Maiden. Needing to do some precision. Going into a salmon ladder. Again, we talked about this in other episodes with just you know that room for error. That's something you could fail on. Um, so that's impressive. And then finishing out the grip gauntlet strong with the, the whole lot of time. All right. And Henry, just as a follow up, uh, what did you think about uh, Maddie's start? And do you think she was uh, able to increase the impressiveness and difficulty throughout the course? Or maybe uh, it, it got a little bit too easy for your liking along the way? I was pretty impressed with Maddie's with Maddie's run um, with her grip gauntlet. She um, she started with a difficult optical Iron Maiden's tough. The the PVC pipe in your hand can spin at any moment, so you really have to have a lot of grip strength, um, which impressed me. And then again, like uh, Lucio alluded to, we had some dynamic moves um, with the salmon ladder. Um, and then really, we just had just rings, uh, ring toss for for a while. I would have loved to see what was planned for that for that cane obstacle. Um, whatever, whatever that was, I would have loved to see what that was, and that would have really like thrown it over the top. But, but overall, it was a solid run. All right. And so, Henry, sticking with you, really simple. I think I know which way this is going, but of the two, Maddie and Allie, who do you think should move on to our semifinal? Actually, a lot closer than you probably thought, um, I was when I when I'm gonna give my pick right now because again, Ali super that's a difficult obstacle when you're when you're fully locked off with those cannonballs. But again, no variety there, no dynamic moves. Everything was static, so it kind of just played to her strength. Um, so I have to go with with Maddie. Maddie's run overall was more dynamic. It was more fun to watch um, and have more variety. So I uh, definitely go with it's close, but I go with Maddie. All right, fair enough. Uh, Lucio, uh, same question. Is it as close as Henry uh, says it is? I mean, it definitely is close. The, the, the amount of strength that's required to do those type of lock-off movements definitely is up there. However, you know, as much as I like to disagree with Henry on things and uh, be devil's advocate, I'm going with Maddie on this one. It's just the sheer variety and um, differentiation and grip, you know. That takes the cake for me, plus some difficulty on top of that with Iron Maiden and the dynamic moves in the Salmon Ladder. So, got to go with Maddie. All right, gentlemen. Thank you very much once again for your contribution. And remember, everyone watching, it is up to you to decide who the actual winner is. Make sure you click the link in the description down below in order to go to the poll and vote on who you think is going to move on to the semifinals because they had the better grip gauntlet. And we hope that you will join us for continued coverage of our first round of the pro tournament. Next matchup, we've got RJ Roman and True Becker. We'll see you then. Later.